I got to travel. Uh, I got to go to West Virginia and like, do a college there. Are you from West Virginia? Are you like one of the four people that wandered in off of Times Square? And are like, we came to the wrong fucking show. I went to West Virginia. I pulled over in a gas station. Uh, I went in and I saw a guy covered head to toe in, in soot. Coal miner. Those are real. I grew up here. And I am obviously like theater kid, right? So I see someone covered head to toe in soot. I'm like, oh, you're a character from a musical. Are you Oliver Twist, or? Do you have a Cockney British accent? Chim chiminy, chim chiminy, like I don't. I talked to him, because I was just like, this is too cool. Like I want to experience this coal miner. And when we were talking to each other, I realized, oh, I'm the weird one. I'm a lesbian in West Virginia. <laughs> so we're, you know how when you, sometimes you talk to someone who doesn't speak the language, you raise your voice? Like that's how we're talking to each other. I'm like, hello, sir. And he's like, I'll watch Ellen. Not a lot of places to eat on the road if you're trying to avoid fast food. I like, I like to go to the Asian restaurants in, on the road, and the Asian restaurants are weird because they're always owned by the one Asian family, and it's only the one Asian restaurant. And these poor families, they're doing due diligence for the entire continent of Asia. They have like a seven menu situation. You know, Japanese, sushi, Thai, Chinese. Like, how did this? How did this happen and become acceptable? <laughs> like, did a West Virginian just walk into a Chinese restaurant and was like, you guys got sushi? You look like you got sushi. <laughs> the Chinese guy's like, oh yeah, now we do. <laughs> like he took racism and made a business decision. 